you <laughs> went to Harvard also, right? Yeah. So can you just tell me about uh, what's the difference between education difference between IIM Ahmedabad and Harvard top B schools in the world? I would say Harvard is the top B schools in the world, and IIM Ahmedabad top B school in India. So I would say that uh, IIM Ahmedabad and uh, Harvard have a synergy from so many years. Like uh, I think uh, this college, if I'm not wrong, it was started. Uh, I remember it was started in 1962. 1961, I would say. 61. Yeah. And uh, Harvard. How many IIMs? Like today, 20 IIMs are born. Like. 2016 also I am, yes. I, I am so initially in 1961 uh, this I am the bad idea was there in 1963 I am Calcutta was there yeah. so we had this archive tune and everything okay. so I came to know from there Mr. Louis Khan Plaza and uh, this the famous architect okay so coming back to your question and this thing uh, so Howard was the incubator for I am the bad they were the parent body which uh, which groomed them or which done a hand holding initially, I would say. So Harvard has so many overlaps with Ahmedabad. Really? Yes. I will tell you so many instances also. So thing is like, uh, they were the source of inspiration. This thing, uh, like in Ahmedabad, we have Harvard steps. When steps are known as Harvard steps, because the idea was from there. Okay. And uh, we have case-based pedagogy. I, I don't know uh, if people know, but in Harvard, especially, I've been to HBS, one of the strategy class. I'm fortunate for it. So it, uh, in this thing, uh, Harvard generally have a case-based pedagogy. Well, uh, uh, the only medium of uh, instruction and communication for the learning and everything is just case-based. Case-based. Well, you don't need to go by textbook that, okay, this textbook is there. I know you might have seen so many textbooks and everything. We do read that. I'm not saying, I'm not discounting the fact. But we refer the textbook. We don't read the textbook. We refer the textbook. There is a difference between reading a textbook or learning by heart and referring the textbook. So I'll explain this thing. So uh, we have case-based pedagogy. We, we like here also we have like n number of cases. Like hundreds of hundreds of cases. Presentations, quiz and everything. So uh, Harvard is generally famous for the cases and everything. Its cases is being referred across... Uh, B schools, like in, uh, in Oxford also, in MIT also, in uh, this thing also, in Wharton also. They have a separate body by name HPR, Harvard Business uh, Review, uh, publishing body, which uh, publishes cases actively on a daily basis. And similar kind of pedagogy is here at Ahmedabad. So in yeah. Ahmedabad, we have only case-based learning. We don't uh, teach uh, presentations, padha ke, padha de ke, yeah. ya fir hum, uh, book bole ke, padha so de ke. But like we have presentations in few. Uh, this thing, I'm not discounting, I'm not saying, I'm not glorifying anything, but maximum like 90% learning is case-based. You read the cases, you it's all actual cases. It happened somewhere at some point of time. So how you would have reacted? Let's say if you were a protagonist of a case. Protagonist, you, you were the lead actor of the case, let's say. Yeah. So how you would have reacted? How the situation would be different? Or what you have taken the gist out of it? What are your learnings? It's, it's, it's so pragmatic, it's so practical. Yeah. Let's say if any situation is there of corporate governance issue is there, of if any HR related issue is there, you need to do any organizational restructuring, you need to do any organization uh, operating model transformation. Or let's say you have done an acquisition of any firm or um, you are the CEO of the firm. So how you might have uh, reacted or what changes you need to bring in your organization to increase more value, to capture more value, to do in a way yeah. impact yeah so yeah this was a analogy uh, between, between Harvard and Ahmedabad because that is also a top business school and there's also a top business school here at uh, India there is no 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 I had about it and what was that experience in Harvard like uh, I would like to ask uh, what is the power of networking you you were yeah. in the, like between four walls be between the most smartest people yeah, so yeah, that it's a famous quote being said, if you are the smartest people in the room, that means you are in the wrong room. It's so true. If you are the smartest person in the room, that means you are in the wrong room. wrong room. Because that means, I'm not saying, that means all people which are surrounded by you, that are dumb. Mm. That should not be the case. Thing is like, uh, you, you, uh, you imbibe the qualities, the peer you have. It's many like, times uh, you may have control, many times you may not have. 
It's like you are the average of the five people you spend most of the time with. Yes. Yeah. So there is a th- difference between uh, uh, network density and network depth. Can you or network width, I would say. Okay. So network width, uh, see, network density you can have with your very close friends. Okay. So there is a thing like, okay, like attracts like. Okay. You have your you have your friends which have similar kind of minds and everything. I'm not saying that okay don't be don't be don't friends with them. I mean, I mean, I mean, friends mat karo ya. I mean, unfriend kar do. I'm not saying them. Then don't be unfriend them. But thing is like uh, they are your very good friends, but you can't learn more. I mean, I think it was a famous uh, lecture. Ham loga leadership wala koi to session tha. So Professor Vishal Gupta has said this thing. Uh, so for the network with. And for the network, uh, this thing, network depth is a different term. I would say I'm just covering network width and network density. So network density is amongst your close friends with your first nodes. I would say for the network width, you need uh, people who are not like you. Mm. So I know many a times uh, you may not have good chemistry, uh, good bonding, but that is important for you for them also. There is a there is a barrier between you and yes. Them. The thing is, like, if you are an engineer, if you are an MBA, you only already you all only have these people in your network. It won't groom you in a long term. Yeah. You should have flavor of people who are from doctor field or who are musicians or who are influencers or who are guitarists, who are dancers, or who are not an engineer, who are the commerce grads, or who are not even related to academic field, who are just a social entrepreneur. or so you need diversity it's need not diversity. only uh, academic diversity it's cultural diversity it's geographic diversity it's spiritual diversity the more diverse environment you have the more inclusive it will be and overall your personality will be a very big statement So that was the idea for me for going to Harvard. That uh, okay, two more reasons for that. Okay, like Harvard, like I've learned a lot since beginning. So I'll go there once again. Who knows? I may do some course. I don't know. <laughs> It's just a fantasy.